I first got Bentley when I was about 10 years old. He was presented to me uh, in a little white towel. I came home one day and my mom was at the table and was holding something in her arms. It was a little, it was a, it was a white towel and I saw it moving. I'm like, mom, what is that? And she opened it up and out popped a little wrinkly head. And that wrinkly head was named Bentley. Bentley, as a puppy, he was mischievous. He was very curious. Um, and to be honest, he was a literal ball of wrinkles. He could stretch his skin out as far as the eye could see. He was small. He was a little meatloaf. We used to call him Hippo Head. <laughs> he did chew on a lot of things. I'll just say he chewed on some furniture, destroyed a lot of papers. Important papers, may I add. Growing up, we had two cats. Uh, one named Ronnie, one named Thatcher. And I say had because they passed away, unfortunately, last year, months apart. And Ronnie was basically the one who was like, I want nothing to do with you. And Bentley just tried to be friends with him as much as he can. He wanted to sniff him, he wanted to be friends with him, but Ronnie kept on batting him over the head and was like, get away from me. But Thatcher, on the other hand, wanted to be friends with Bentley so much. She loved him so much. And Bentley was like, nope, don't care. Get away from me. <laughs> Bentley, in his teenage years, uh, well, for dog years at least, he was very strong, very strong, very fast, very nimble. He is a protector. He definitely protects the family, even though he doesn't bark. The only time he really barked was at himself in the reflection of the oven. And after that, he just doesn't really bark. He's not a noisy dog. He's very submissive. Well, I wouldn't say submissive. He's not the alpha of the family, I'll say that. He's definitely the beta, beta boy. We call him beta boy. When we had our cats, um, Thatcher would always lie with Bentley in his bed. But here's the thing. Bentley, since Bentley wanted to have nothing to do with Thatcher, he would get up and leave the bed and Thatcher would take it over. So we basically saw that Thatcher was the alpha of the family. As a puppy, we put on this, you know, this spiked collar to make him look mean. And people, you know, backed away and were like, oh, does your dog bite? And we were like, no, he's the friendliest dog in the world. And he really is. He is the gentlest beast you will ever meet. You know, for being as old as he is, he's going on 11 years old this November, um, you wouldn't even think it. He is so spry. He is still full of so much energy. He is, he loves his daily walks. He loves his playtime. He loves everybody. When he was a puppy, of course, he used to leap and bound and play around and do everything. But now he just sits around and sleeps as all old, old dogs do. When I first got Bentley, uh, I didn't know what to think. Um, I didn't know that I would have this type of relationship with a dog. He loves me dearly. He follows me wherever I go. I mean, when I when I leave for like a couple of hours, uh, Bentley just lies down and mopes. He's depressed. He misses his boy. And man, when I get home and that tail wags like a little helicopter, oh my gosh, he is the happiest boy and happiest dog I've ever seen. He needs to know you. He needs to know you for a long time to be able to be comfortable around you. You know, he's very shy around other people. He wants to have nothing to do with anybody else except me because he loves me more than anybody else in this world. Except my mom, of course. <laughs> I don't see Bentley as a friend. I see him as a little brother. I see him as part of the family. He is one of the best friends or best brothers I've ever had in my whole entire life. And to be honest, I'm the only one who he loves in this world anymore. I believe that Bentley and I were put together for a reason. He needed me, I needed him is basically how the story went. 
as you know, time went on, as we grew up together, he just became this dog that I thought I'd never have. He was respectful, he's loyal, he's everything I ever wanted in a dog. He's friendly, he's gentle, and he's just so darn cute. <laughs> he's my companion, he's my buddy, he's family. And I honestly don't know what I do without him. Thank you.